Hey there, great to see you here. In this mission, you're going to discover three secret languages. You can use these secret languages in the next mission to build an escape room, but also just to send secret messages to your friends that your parents or teachers cannot decipher. Secret language, also known as cryptography, has always been important, also before there were computers. The Egyptian pharaohs could exchange gossip by using secret language. But what exactly is cryptography and how does it work? Encryption is the using of two identical keys to disguise information based on certain agreements or algorithms. The sender encrypts a message according to the algorithm and sends it to the receiver. Everybody who sees the message while it's underway cannot read it. It has been encrypted. The receiver can read it because he or she knows which algorithm the sender has used, so he or she has the key and can decipher and read the message. This process is also called decryption. What exactly constitutes the key differs per algorithm. We're going to look at a few in a minute. So encryption ensures that the information can be exchanged safely between two people using an unsafe communication channel. That is a communication channel where others have access to as well, such as the internet. The encryption ensures that only the sender and the receiver can read the message. We're going to practice with three different secret languages to encrypt and decrypt messages. The first secret language that we're going to look at is the Caesar cipher. Take the first worksheet, the Caesar cipher. Cut out both disks and attach them together using the linchpin. The smaller disk goes on top. Your turn. The Caesar cipher has been named after Julius Caesar, a Roman emperor who used it to send secret messages to his soldiers. Oh, Caesar, you're a genius. Where do you get such tremendous ideas? This secret language works as follows. You agree upon a key. The encryption only works, of course, if you both know the key. We're going to agree that the key is 9. Put both disks in line. Now turn the small disk 9 steps to the left, or the large disk, nine steps to the right. The A now becomes the R in our secret language. The B becomes an S, the C becomes a T, etc. Take the worksheet with the secret messages, turn your disk nine steps and decipher the first secret message. Good luck. Did it work? Were you able to decipher the code? Very good. At the end of this video, I'll show you all the correct answers. The second secret language that we're going to look at is Rosicrucian cipher. This secret language has been invented by the Rosicrucian, a secret sect of sages, who are said to have used it to keep its secrets. This was sometime in the 16th century, somewhere in Europe. Now take a piece of paper and draw two graphs one of three by three and one of two by two in the form of a gate and a multiplication sign, like this. I place two letters in each box. I do this randomly and I do not use the same letter twice. This is the key. Everybody who wants to read this message needs a copy of this key. To start writing your secret message, you take the first letter of your message, find this in your key graph. Look at the lines that are drawn around it. Copy the form of that line in the coded version of your message. If the letter that you want is the second letter in that box, you copy the form and you add a dot. The A is the shape. The B is the same shape with a dot in it. The S is this shape. And the T is the same shape with a dot in it. To decipher this message, I have to look at the shape of the box, so exactly the other way around. I have made the key, Use my key and decipher the second secret language. Good luck! Awesome! The third secret language, date coding. This form of encryption was among others during World War II. For this secret language, you have to pick a date. The date is the key. 
Let's take the birthday of Lionel Messi, the best soccer player in the world. July 24th, 1987. Write down that date and numbers right behind each other and no spaces, 07241987. Then you assign numbers to the letters. Say that you send the following message to your friend. Messi is the best. Underneath this message, I write down the eight numbers, repeating them until I get to the end of the sentence. Messi is the best. 07241987072419. Now we encrypt the message. Write down the alphabet from left to right. Move every letter from your message as many spaces as the number that is written underneath it. The letter M remains an M. The E moves seven spaces, making it an L. The S moves two spaces and becomes a U. The S becomes a W. The I becomes a J. The I becomes an R. The S moves eight spaces, becomes an A. And so on. In this example, the result of the message is as follows. Your turn. Decipher the third message on your worksheet. The key is the birth date of Messi. Were you able to decrypt this code too? Well done. Now for the solutions. Puzzle one. Did you know that the internet was born in 1969? Puzzle two. Internet is invented by the American army. Puzzle three. The internet weighs the same as a strawberry. That is the combined weight of billions of electrons of data in motion on the web. Were you able to decipher the messages correctly? Great. By sending the messages in code, you ensure that the data can be safely exchanged between different people on the internet, making sure that not everybody can see the pictures that you send to your friends. This is called encryption. Encryption is writing the information in code based on certain agreements or algorithms, and only the people who know the key can decipher the message. What the key is exactly differs per algorithm. But how can you recognize it that what you send over the internet is actually encrypted or secured? You can see and recognize it by the lock that you see in the browser bar. Good to know and to pay attention to. See you at the next mission.